Hello there. The following has been known to cause involuntary smiles. Please proceed with extreme caution. All likenesses are purely coincidental. Is this thing on? Welcome to science time. Across the ocean to get to the other tide. <laughs> the ocean covers 70% of our planet, so it's no surprise it has a huge influence on weather. Huge influence. The ocean is always exchanging heat, moisture, and carbon with the atmosphere, which drives the weather. Climate is influenced by the storage of the ocean's carbon dioxide and heat. The ocean stabilizes the temperature of the Earth. The ocean slowly warms in the summer, which cools the air. The ocean slowly cools, which turns the air warm in the winter. El Nino and La Nina also affect weather. El Nino and La Nina typically last 9 to 12 months but some events may last for years. While their frequency can be quite irregular, El Nino and La Nina occur every two to seven years on average. Typically, El Nino occurs more frequently than La Nina. El Nino is an abnormal weathered pattern caused by the warming of the Pacific Ocean near the equator off South America. Woo, that was a mouthful. This affects the atmosphere and weather around the world. The climate pattern can change the weather of the United States, particularly in California and the southern states. Some of the effects include more rain than usual in Florida and the Gulf Coast, warmer temperatures in Canada in the western and northern United States, and drier than average conditions in the Ohio Valley and Pacific Northwest. La Nina is the opposite of El Nino. If there's anything I've learned, don't mess with Mother Nature. Wave heights during storms may exceed 30 feet. However, tsunamis can be over 100 feet, and they are extremely dangerous. Temperature of the water affects a hurricane's ability to form. Hurricanes can generate waves up to 60 feet high and change ocean habitats. Luckily, after a few weeks, ocean life will return to normal. Weather affects sea life in many ways. Fish don't get evacuation orders and have to ride out the storm. Some sea animals can sense hurricanes and move to safer waters. Fish in shallow waters swim faster than usual, while sharks dive to deeper waters. Heavy rains can change salinity and oxygen levels, causing fish die-offs. Flooding from hurricanes causes runoff and more pollution in the ocean, which can lead to algae blooms. Coastal flooding causes pollution and trash to enter the ocean. Many sea animals mistake this trash for food, which can lead to suffocation. Well, that took quite a turn, didn't it? Don't worry, this part's my favorite. <laughs> what was the most interesting thing I learned? Hmm. I think it was El Nino. It's pretty complicated and cool. Pretty complicated and cool. 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 That was a fish.